Well, it's just so fantastic to be back in Dubbo and seeing our brand new uh, Rural Access Gap program in action. This was a project that was uh, funded in the budget last year and it's $366 million that we'll be investing over the next couple of years into really bridging that equity gap that exists between rural and metro schools. And the way we're going to do that is all through digital connectivity. Uh, a really exciting day to be here at Arana Heights and this is the first school uh, across New South Wales where we're seeing this incredible rollout of digital technology, upgraded smart boards, much faster internet speeds and digital connectivity that we know is going to be the way of the future. Uh, we certainly saw that last year with COVID-19 affecting the way that people were learning and learning from home. So uh, heading into 2021, uh, first day of school for many schools, either today or tomorrow. And here we are in a, a school that has now almost 30 uh, upgraded smart boards in classrooms. And we'll be able to actually set the agenda for the future for, for not just professional development for teachers, but the best learning opportunities for students in regional New South Wales. We feel very privileged because we are a tr bit of a trial school and being the pilot and it's just amazing to see what has come together to support the students and to support the staff. So staff are already trying their one-to-one -one devices over the January break, being able to connect with each other, make sure that the planning that they were doing at home was then actually working at school because there, there was a consistency with what the software was able to function and then coming to school and seeing their new smart boards in their classrooms was very exciting. So the importance, I suppose, is around them being able to, to deliver curriculum in all sorts of different ways. And we know that our young minds are very easily adaptable to technology and to the whole digital world. And so now it doesn't matter the teacher, we can give them all the professional learning and they will be able to connect with the students. How important is it that our rural kids are technologically literate? I mean, it's so important um, these days. We don't know what jobs there will be in the future. Mm. How important is it to start it right now? Well, it just seems fair. It just seems fair that they aren't disadvantaged in any way. And it does get uh, more challenging, I suppose, the further away from the metropolitan areas that you live. And it's great to see that it's being recognised and doing everything we can to make sure those kids aren't disadvantaged. Look, for me as a Nationals Minister for Education, rural and regional students are at the top of my list when it comes to making sure we do everything that we can to get them the best possible education. Uh, digital connectivity and technology is the way to do it. It's really exciting that we've had this proof of concept here in Dubbo. Uh, 28 schools have been a part of that here in this region and also a little bit further north. And it's been a great opportunity for us to really road test how this program will, will roll out, uh, any teething issues, uh, using the examples here because we've got very big regional uh, public schools, we've got schools for specific purposes, um, environmental schools, we've got our big school of distance education here in Dubbo as well. So it's been a really great place to launch the pilot and a lot of advocacy from the local member Dougal Saunders as well to make sure that we start in Dubbo. Uh, and now we'll see this roll out across the state. Next term there'll be another 81 schools that will be part of this program and by the end of 2023 uh, we will have this in every single school across regional New South Wales, more than a thousand, which is just fantastic.